so good morning and welcome to the second vlog here in the Yukon Territory. Now today's plan is a little bit of a different one. Yesterday we were riding quite low down. We were still in the sort of the trees and the shrubs. This time we're going into the Alpine. It's going to be a little bit of a hiker bike and then we're going to get onto some apparently absolutely incredible trails, some amazing views and the scenery around here is just incredible. Started the day off here in the lodge. It's a nice day. The clouds are starting to blow in. It seems to be that in the morning you get really nice blue skies and as it sort of goes into the sort of later parts of the morning it gets a little bit windier and you get some more clouds coming in. But let's get this day started, let's load the bikes up and let's head to the trails. First pit stop is of course to get some coffee at the Caribou Coffee House. This place looks pretty cool. So we've arrived at our destination, we're in a parking lot, there's a beautiful lake right there and we're heading up some of the mountains that are right there behind me. We're going to climb one called Mountain Hero. Now the trail is actually from an old mining campaign. So they used to take silver or they used to bring it down to where we are via cable cars. There's also a path built into the mountain from when they used to transport that up. A few years ago some locals came together, they made it into a mountain bike trail and apparently it's absolutely sick. From where we are now to the very top, it's about a thousand meter hike bike. You can normally ride it, it's 25 kilometers. However, there's some snow in the past. So today it is unrideable. We're gonna do hike a bike as the second best option and apparently the trail down is incredible. Can't wait to get on it, see what it's like and let's go do some riding. Made a nice uplift if it was still running, but I have to do it the hard way. First time in gear 12, 51 tooth making this a little easier. The GoPro probably doesn't really show how steep this is, but 32 tooth chain ring, climbing it, is seriously out of breath. There comes a point where you really just have to get off the bike, push it, no matter how fit you are. This stuff is steep, we're at the halfway point, the views are sick, and I think this is going to be an absolutely incredible descent on the way back down. Let's keep going. I can't imagine what it had been like in 1902 hiking up this. First spot of snow. So we've made it pretty much to the top now. I'm a little bit back down just to get away from the wind because the, the wind is super strong up here. It's cold, it's blustery, and I probably didn't think that the audio would work so well. But behind me, there's an absolutely incredible backdrop. The sky is starting to clear. We've got a little bit of blue sky coming. The sun is warm, and I think the descent here is going to be absolutely insane. We're starting out on the Alpine. We've done about 800 meters of climbing. There is a little bit further that you could go. However, there's some snow in the way, and we're not sure if you could actually make that. Like I said, normally this would be a full ride. It wouldn't actually be a hike or bike, but we've been mixing up and doing something different just because of that snowy condition. So later in the year, the pass will be fully open, and it's quite incredible to think that back in 1902, people were hiking up this, carrying material. It's been hard enough pushing the bike up with the gear, but now that we've made it, it's gonna be really sweet and I cannot wait to get onto that descent.
And that is how we wake up here in the Yukon. Some amazing single track trails. Today we're at the Yukon River. Yesterday we're at Hero Mountain. Did an insane hike a bike and absolutely loved that. But today, well, it is something else. Cause check out this view that is right behind me. Isn't that absolutely incredible? The lake is so blue. The Yukon River is right there and these are the Yukon River trails. I think today is going to be something really special. The plan is to ride around this region and then tonight do a sunset shoot, which should be absolutely incredible. And it's going to be a late one because the sun actually sets at around 11.30 to 12 p.m. So let's get this day started and let's get some riding done. morning and the afternoon has been spent riding at the Yukon River. Now it was a really cool spot, the views were absolutely insane, the lakes around there were absolutely incredible. We've headed now up onto the Alpine, we took a shuttle to get up here, then pedaled a little bit further and the views around here are absolutely insane. But the plan now is to wait for the sunset to go down. It's going to go down somewhere right behind me. It's just blocked by some clouds over there. And we're hoping that the sky is really going to light up. It's going to become really pink and hopefully just be really beautiful. The last few sunsets of previous evenings have been pretty impressive, but there's not been that much sunlight. So we're thinking tonight it could really light up because it's a complete blue sky day. And this should be really, really cool. It'll be a big tick off the list, a sunset shoot. And it's gonna be about 12 p.m. that the sun is actually going to fully set. So it's gonna be a bit of a late one. So we have finished up our sunset shoot. We're midway through it and then three of the local trail builders who actually came and built the trail, we told them that we'd shuttle up to this point and they said, you know what guys, the trail here is so incredible that we want you to ride it. So they've ridden down, they're pedaling back up and they're gonna take our shuttle vehicle back down. So we're getting to ride this absolutely insane trail. Let me just get the phone out for you and show you what time it is. It is. 11.33 and it is completely light out here. The sun is quite literally just going down. You can see just how beautiful it is. You've got the pink sky, you've got the lake behind us and then all the way over there, that's where we came from. We've got one long descent still to go. This is so sick.
That was so good. Was insane. What the fuck was that, man? Oh. oh. Just when you thought the loan was done, it just jessies you up that. That, that was rad. Rad as fuck. Thanks, dude. Yeah. 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 And there we go. Tony, yeah, Tony, Tony, Tony. Yeah. That was absolutely impeccable timing. What a day to be had, and it is now well past 12.30. It's still light out. The stoke levels are high, the endorphins are peaking, and that was probably one of the sickest trails that I've ever ridden. <laughs> that was so fucking man. That was like one of the best rides of my life, I think. Yeah, that was sick. Awesome. We're loving you all the way down. <laughs> cool. so oh my good. goodness! And that is us gearing up for our last day here in the Yukon Territory. Absolutely insane that ride last night. Everyone feeling a little bit tired, but we're headed back to Carcross. I'm gonna do some more trail riding before heading to Vancouver tonight. How are you feeling, Ross Bell? A little bit sleepy, but you still be in bed. So we're now back in the trails in Carcross. This side is a little bit rockier. We were so spoiled last night with all that loam because that was just absolutely insane. We're gonna get back into the rocky stuff. It's a little bit more janky. There's some more North Shore features, but it's gonna be a good ride. Well, that was a great way to end the trip here in the Yukon Territory. Those trails on Carcross are so much fun. They're fast, they're flowing, there's technical rocky features, and just everything that you could really ask for. It's time now to say goodbye to the Yukon Territory, and a highlight from this part of the trip has really got to be that sunset ride last night. It was so much fun, the trail was insane. In fact, it's probably up there with one of the best trails that I've ever ridden. And to top off the experience of riding till 1 a.m. in the morning, that was just insane and something that I'll remember forever. So all that remains is to pack the bike, head to the airport, and I'll see you guys in British Columbia for our next stop in Whistler.